spring in now. Former acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf to react to that sound and all of the reports we're hearing right now from the border. Chad, when you look at what's happening, what's your reaction? Well, it's devastating. Uh, obviously, the border wall system needs to be completed. We had over 500 miles of that border wall system completed by the end of the Trump administration. Uh, it's an effective pedance and denial for the Border Patrol agents down on the border. Uh, everyone I've talked to over the past four years, every one of those agents have said they needed that type of border wall system. Um, and so it's just a real shame that the Biden administration stopped construction because at the end of the day, that's going to help secure the border uh, more than almost anything else that uh, that we can do. Uh, so it's a, a real concern. Yeah, you know, Chad, you're talking about securing the border, the border wall, all important points. People looking at these images, though, are saying, what do we do about all these people? They're here now, right? We can talk about who's responsible, what's the cause. But regardless, they are here. And 700 plus percent capacity in some of these centers is just not a tenable situation. So what do we do? Yeah, well, I think overnight uh, we heard that DHS is now sending FEMA down to the border. So we send FEMA into areas uh, which are uh, disaster stricken areas. So obviously this is a crisis. This continues to be a crisis, not only the number of children coming over, but also the number of family units coming over. Uh, and so you have to care for each of those populations. But at the end of the day, this is also about the policies and the type of messaging uh, that is going out from the administration continuing to fuel this crisis. So it's okay to send individuals down there uh, to care for these individuals or to construct facilities to care for uh, these populations, but you have to send the signal that this has to stop. And so that's what I'm most concerned about is where does this go over the next several months? I see this getting uh, worse and not better over the long term. Chad, you can play the what if it were Trump game a bit too often. But in this particular case, those images of that overpass, uh, the, the, the temporary processing center of people penned in under an overpass outdoors, presumably no shower facility, all of those things. If this were the Trump administration, when you were the acting DHS, DHS secretary, you can imagine the reaction. What, what should the reaction be to this? Well, you're absolutely right. Back in 2019, where we had a, a similar crisis, not of our own making, I, I might add, uh, we had any number of media down there, congressional uh, members of Congress and others just telling us how bad we were doing because we were holding individuals in the same facilities, the same numbers that we see today. Um, so that's disappointing. But two, there are tools on, you know, tools that the current administration can use. Title 42 they have chosen not to use that for minors coming across, which is fueling the crisis today. So the Biden administration today, if you are a minor from Mexico, they will turn you around. But if you are a minor from Northern Triangle, they will not turn you around. Well, that sends a signal to the smugglers and the traffickers and others mm. to send children from the Northern Triangle up here. So there's a number of tools that they can use anywhere from restarting MPP, Title 42, some of our, our agreements, our international agreements, there are things that they can do to stop this surge uh, over the next several months. Chad, I want to follow up on that really quickly. You mentioned you're fearing this is going to get worse. The numbers suggest that you're right. The trends suggest that you're right. It will get worse in the coming months. You also called it a policy driven crisis. So these tools you're talking about, if they're put into place, you believe we could turn away the tide. We could stop this crisis from metastasizing. Well, absolutely. Again, we saw this in 2019. Uh, we saw a surge of family units and a surge of minors. Same thing that we're seeing today. And we had to we asked Congress for certain authorities uh, that never uh, materialized. So we had to put in policies and procedures that the administration, the executive branch can do things like the migrant protection protocols or the remain in Mexico program. Then we utilize Title 42 during a covid uh, pandemic. So there are tools on the on the shelf that the Biden administration can use. They've chosen not to use it. And in many cases, they stopped using it uh, come January 20th of this year. So there are things they can do. I guess the big question is, uh, how did they let it get to this? Uh, they knew uh, that they were going to have a surge. Uh, the numbers showed that. And so the question is, why are they responding in the way that they are now? Why didn't they have this done prior to? Yep. Chad Wolf, thank you very much for joining us. Thank we appreciate you, it. All right. Thank you.